Okay guys, what's up? This is Mark from Destiny again. I just recorded this and it didn't work, so let's try this again. So basically what this video is going to be is if you want to list your own items through Destiny. Now, all of you all who use Destiny already, you know we give you all suggestions. You don't generally have to find your own items. But we've added the ability to both list your own items as well as track the items you already have. Now I'm not going to go through how to track the current items right now. I'll do that in another video. It's really short and quick. But I'll I'll do a video on how to list your own items, right? So we have already established that how we find items is that we find other drop shippers that have items that are selling successfully and we sell the same item with the same title, maybe with more images at a cheaper price. So technically we know it should sell, right? So I've already found an item from this seller. It sold fifty three times already. Um and I already know that it sells on Walmart for 99 bucks, and the dude is selling for 121.75. Um, let me check really quick what his profit margin is, so I could um, so I can make sure I'm making some money. Again, I, I cheat a little bit because I knew what I was gonna sell, but um, let me just do this for your sake so you can actually see it. And my internet is screwing up a little bit, so be a little patient with me. Okay, so the I, this is an eBay calculator. It's newlifeauctioncom slash calculator. I chose store. The item cost is 99 bucks. Come on, baby. And I want to sell it for 121 You all should know I use gift cards to buy my items, so I'll get an extra 3% off. So I'll get an extra 3 bucks off, right? So at that price, I'm making seven bucks and thirty cents, plus the three dollars from the gift card. I should make ten thirty more or less, right? So I mean, it's not a great profit margin, but it's good enough for what I want to do, especially for items that's selling like fifty two times. So if you go to the Ashini, you want to add item, right? Come on, let's add the item. Sorry, be a little patient because this, I don't know what, why my internet is acting up today. So once you hit add item, it's going to ask you for a couple of fields. eBay URL, external URL, price, title, description. The description, we don't have the HTML editor up right now. That will be activated maybe tomorrow or the day after. But just for the purpose of this video, it's a quick video to explain what to do. It's not there, right? So for the eBay URL, you want to take the URL of the item. That you you're basically gonna list. What that is gonna do is gonna pull his images. We pull the images because we know it's already resized correctly and that type of stuff. If the images have a watermark after you create the template, you're gonna have to go back and, and add your own images. But that this seller doesn't have any watermark in his image. That's that's gonna one pull the images, two pull the title, three put it in the correct the same category that he has it in. We wanna basically do exactly what he's doing because clearly he's doing it correctly. He sold 53 of them. And we want to beat his price, right? So we, that's why we want this URL. Then we want this URL, that's where we're getting it from, to track if it changes price and, or if it goes out of stock. Our software automatically tracks the price changes and out of stock, and we need that URL. The price is how much you want to sell it for, so I'm going to sell it for 120.97. I'm meeting by a little, a little more than a dollar. The title, you can put anything here because it's going to be overwritten by the title that he has. And then the description, I just take the basic description and paste it here. Okay, no, I didn't copy it. The basic description, copy, and paste it here. You go down. This my item thing <laughs> is when you're listing your own item, when you're tracking your, the item you're already listing. But you, so you don't have to worry about that right now. I'll explain this in the next video. Um, and just hit save. Once you hit save, what it's going to do is you're going to pull the images from his eBay account. It's going to save it on the GSG server. It's going to pull the category, pull the title. Then it's going to connect it to the link that you put from the source 
the external URL. Right now, it's on, we're only using Amazon and Walmart. So those are the. <coughs> ah, jeez, my internet sucks. So right now, it, it, I just got an error. Let me make sure everything is still there. Okay, hopefully it'll work this time, and I don't have to. So you can see it save. Come on, baby. Yeah. So once it saves. Why is this screen up this much? Be patient with me. These are third world problems. For those of you all who know me, I'm in Nicaragua. So it should work a lot better wherever you guys are. Right, it should work this time. Yeah, so what it, this will do is it will create the template. Right, as you can see, the price, the image. I mean, y'all, y'all guys will do it, and you'll view your own template and so on. But when you come back to home, you should see this as a suggestion, right? And then you can just hit Add to My Account. It'll be added. It'll be automatically tracked. You could go back to to My Listing and click it. Not My Listings, My Items. Sorry, My Items, and Right, so you go back to my items, you can go to this, edit the listing, where you want to edit, edit the description, edit the images, and so on, or you could delete it, right? Um, but that's pretty much how you list, and the items will automatically track in the issue. Um, thanks for your patience, and have a nice day.